Bruno is the newest member of the Raptors team, and he's going to bring your Raptors mad more wins. Or at least that's the plan for Masai Ujiri. Let's do what everyone else wants to do. Let's find out what your initial reaction was to the pick. Start with the <laughs> resident the comedian. The resident guy. I'm the be resident guy. comedian. What so was listen, your reaction? My opinion on this draft is I feel like somebody from the management of the Raptors went to Brazil, really loved the country, loved the people, and they just wanted to bring somebody back. <laughs> I don't think that was a good idea. I think we need to stop drafting soccer players and bring them to basketball. All right, now back to our experts. By, I'm just saying. Buying Wall Street. Um, the Brazilian Kevin Durant, who's buying it? I can't buy it simply because I don't have enough information, to be honest. So I'm kind of like what Jalen Rose said last night. Didn't Based he? on the grainy VSH type footage. <laughs> no, not a whole lot of people buy it. It was like. <laughs> you, you guys are laughing? I actually thought that was my footage from when I played in Brazil <laughs> back in the 90s. Hey, guys, yeah. look so, nice here, man. We Raptor fans over man, here. No, listen, you know what? You can't base it off of that footage, though. You can't see anything. Yeah, I mean, I don't really have a, an opinion whether or not he's a good pick. Yeah. I thought they should have picked it, you know. Shabazz, I can't evaluate his talent. I don't know. The I will kids. say Same this money. about M Masai Ujiri, that he's been a wizard yes. as far as getting rid of albatross contracts. You right saw what he did with uh, Melo in Denver. You saw what he did with Marnani and Rudy Gay here to produce a 49-win team. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you have to trust in Masai just a little bit more. Yep. Uh, I call these guys that we've never seen unicorns. Because I don't know if they really exist the way they talk about yeah, them. For sure. But these guys have all played the good soldier. They've gotten in front of cameras and said that this is our tact going forward. We, we wanted this guy. Uh, Tyler was our A, our A plan. Our plan B was Bruno, and you they're going to bring him up. You know and they're not going to stash him away. Him He's going to play immediately. When they've hyped him up, I wouldn't be surprised if he is trying to, you know, package that pick, you know, with a, you know, some kind of deal to get someone else, but that could be well, part of it. Possibly. Some, of, some of the news that came out after the draft was that both Phoenix and Utah were set to take him with their next available picks. So a lot of people thought the Raptors could have got him possibly later in the draft, but that potentially might not have been there. But another guy I want to talk about is a guy who helped Shabazz Napier win a national championship, DeAndre Daniels. Mm -hmm. uh, giant small forward, really long, bit of a project right now, but do you guys see him being um, a kind of a boon for the Raptors in the future? I don't know. Um... Winning a title is, is great, and I think he was a good part of that and a big part of that. It's a matter, great. It's a matter of, uh, of what he does and what he can bring off the bench. Uh, Summer League is going to tell us something is, you know, tell us nothing as well. <laughs> yeah. You know what Summer League is. You know what it is. Anthony Randolph was a Summer League MVP, so it'll tell you a, a lot of things, but if he comes out, he plays hard, he's smart, and he makes the roster, he could uh, provide something off the bench for the Raptors. All right, well, listen, we just finished wrapping up the Toronto Raptor talk. We got to talk about all the other good stuff going on in free agency around the league. Lots of rumored trades. Your boy LeBron James, of course. Oh, man. What's he going to do? Is he going to restructure? Is he going to get out of Miami? We have lots to talk, and we got good people to talk about it with, except Blake's still here. No, I'm still but here. But we will be back. <laughs> on, I'll play it, Blake. We'll be back on Canada's Home for Talking Hoops and your favorite show. This is The Hangout. See you in a bit.